it's Deshaun Watson time of the season again. <laughs> it's Deshaun Watson time of the season. And we got more sucker deluxes just jumping out of the room, trying to get clicks. But guess what? G Bush about to drill down on this thing. I'm going to let you know why we ain't about to go through this again. So all y'all writers, go ahead and tune in because this is your last time you getting clicks. We'll talk about it next on The Barbershop. Come on into the barbershop. We got a lot to talk about. I'm not going to do a lot of pageantry, but the one thing that I am going to do is say I want to thank you. Uh, as you can see, our Patreon members are, are scrolling to the bottom of the screen. And one thing we always want to do when we got a barbershop show, we, we make sure we shout out to people who have been showing us love and who are our Patreons. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right off into this. I mean, we'd like to thank our members who have signed up for Patreon. They get their bonus, bonus stuff going on, making sure that they get their new videos. So there's a new patreon members only bonus video dropping just for you guys up coming up this week it will be brown centric so it's not going to be a topic about how to get in the industry we right back to the browns type content and there's going to be some some videos that you guys want to watch that's going to be brown centric that's going to be on the patreon members only so go over there if you want to subscribe to get some of those access to those videos let's go through them the mvp uh, mvp tier we got greg smith shout out to greg smith for being a mvp tier member uh all-star tier member omari spence shout out to him i think omari's gonna be on the ultimate cleveland sports show coming up so he got some amazing jerk chicken man starting lineup tier we want to thank bradley thomas bruns aaron gail mail shout out to aunt gail she's always supporting i appreciate her Spencer Mahomes, shout out to Spencer down his thing in Kentucky doing his thing. Former barbershop producer, shout out to Spencer, uh, Brandon, and Russell Edwards. If you want to become a member, go to Patreon backslash the barbershop today, patreon.com backslash the barbershop today, and, and check out some of our tiers. Get off into our project real quick. This is something that, that's been um, brewing for a long period of time. And see, a lot of people think that they're going to get this off twice. A lot of people, if you checked out my gear, you checked out what I was doing last year. I had three or four videos uh, about the, how the, the media was covering Deshaun Watson. If you want to, you can go back and check those videos out. Those videos, to me, took a deep dive into what the media was trying to do. Basically, um, get, get, get Deshaun Watson up out of here. Everybody, everybody was running around saying, allegedly, 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 wasn't looking into any facts. When you take a look at some of this evidence that I've given you last year, you'll start to say, like, why wasn't anybody covering that? Why was everybody just saying, oh, the allegations, the allegations, the allegations, right? And some of that right now is spilling over into what we kind of see today. Deshaun Watson is out there talking uh, to the press. He's talking to, um, you know, some of the individuals. Um, and he had this to say. Uh, you know, Gainesville, Georgia, 815 Hampshire Square, the session of apartments, you know, that type of situation of, you know, when I was a young kid, I didn't think of the NFL. I didn't know I was going to make it out of high school. You know, my mom being sick and having tongue cancer and not being able to eat solid food ever again, you know, not having a father figure in my life ever, probably 27 years, only seeing him four times, you know, and, you know, different stuff like that is just is things that people don't really get to hear about, you know, especially the last year has been, you know, the media directing and narrating something, some, something else. Um, you know, it's, it's been kind of overshadowed. So have an opportunity to tell that story in front of those guys and look their teammates in their eyes and be able to touch them and let them know how, you know, why I am who I am, you know, it's definitely a problem. So as you can see, Deshaun Watson is saying, I'm doing my best to, to indoctrinate myself with my team. Let my team know where I come from. Let my team know who I am as a man. Let my people and, my, and the guys that are in the locker room know, um, you know, what I've been through and what I do. And he's saying the media hasn't presented a lot of that. And so he says that they've been presenting uh, another part of a narrative, but they haven't taken time to delve into some of the more positive things that I've been doing. They haven't been taking time to delve into some of the things that I have been involved with. So we take a guy. Let's get right to it. We get a person, um, Steve, Stephen Andrus. I don't know who he is. Um, I looked up uh, with, with publications he's from. Um, but this is a this is a type of stuff that I, I don't have no time for, and, and, and it's time it's it's time that people start getting a little coarse with cats like this. And the reason I I I, I take I, the reason I I I take a second 
to to really go in on stuff like this is because there's a there's a thing that goes on in our country where you feel like you're just gonna make up in your mind what a person is and what they ain't now this is what i call virtue signaling at its finest there was an article written in the spectator by james bartholomew according to wikipedia it says that he was using the term to describe empty gestures intended to convey socially approved attitudes without any associated risk or sacrifice. You take a story, and you take a story where you know people are kind of on the left or right about it, and what you do is you don't even really care about the 25 allegations. People are taking hard positions, political positions, that they know very little about, and they have no interest in learning about. They just want the virtue associated with being in line with other people on this issue. You don't really care to delve deep into the allegations of some of the women who said that they basically was lying. There's no real virtue involved, right? You're just basically saying, look at me, look how awesome I am. I have these beliefs. I think these things, and therefore I am virtuous. I hate Trump. Therefore, I'm a good person, right? And it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's an empty way of signaling that you are somehow ethical or good or moral. Who told relatives that they was only doing it for the money? Who's, who's, whose court cases got thrown out? It's, it's not a real argument. There's no real debate happening there. I'm not saying anything intelligent about the issue. They're just saying, I'm on this side, you know. You don't take time to talk about how many of those 25 were false or how many of those had sketchy stories. Look, it's nobody wants to be considered a racist. OK, nobody, nobody on the right, nobody on the left. Nobody. But to just say, oh, I'm for this or I'm for that because, you know, I'm for women or I'm for gays or I'm for blacks. It makes you sound great, but you're not helping the world in any way. You're not really contributing any ideas you're not you're not having a conversation you're just sitting there saying look at me look at me look at me you took the time to get your clickbait off and you took the time to get your 5.3 million views by virtue signaling in essence virtue signaling is an empty gesture to try to get attention it's a lighthouse that says look at me it's a big flashing disco ball it, 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 it doesn't actually make you a good person signaling that you're a good person to me is a huge red flag well, you don't, we don't know, you, you want to stand on the side, well, we got to believe everybody. No, you don't. I don't got to believe all of nobody. You know what I do as a human being, a, a responsible adult? I take a look at every case by case scenario and make my own, my, my own mind up based on what the premises is, based on the evidence and based on what's happening. And so I don't have to believe everybody. At the end of the day, we not moving like that. And my problem is this. You see, in this country, frankly, there's a lot of people who believe that that certain groups of people owe you a conversation. You see, every random different piece, piece of person that's out here in this community, you know, we, we deal with enough. It's hard enough out here when you're talking about being a black man in America. It's hard enough being a black man in America when, when you're dealing with the police, when you're dealing with your employer. When you're trying to when you're trying to make it, when you're everywhere you look, it's just one of you. You're just trying your hardest. You just you, you're nice to people. You stay out the way and you do your thing. But my problem is this: I'm gonna respect the other the law enforcement because I just want to go home at night. I'm gonna respect what the judge is saying because I'm not trying to do 25. And you know what? I really ain't even trying to argue with y'all dudes out here in the streets about what's going on. I'm gonna go home, do my thing, and do my job. But here's the problem. My problem ain't with them. It's my problem is with regular, everyday citizens who feel they got the right to press something on you. Like I, like Deshaun Watson owe you so much zero or more, so much for league mandated counseling. Sorry, Stephen. No, no disrespect. Deshaun don't. Deshaun Watson don't owe your ass nothing. Zero. At the end of the day, it ain't up to him. It ain't, he don't owe you nothing. He don't have to he don't have to make himself do pretzels for every jackass media member that want to sit out here and write articles. Because guess what? At the end of the day, y'all cats, y'all cats got an 18% approval rating anyway. Y'all the problem with media. Y'all the problem that every single person in this country look at y'all as jokes. Cause you write stories. You think I don't know how this game works? 
it's so gr it's so grimy. I've been in the game 12 years. I don't even really want to even call myself a part of the media because you're corny. You're corny. And nobody out here is going to tell you like I'm telling you. There's a bunch of dudes that either feel emasculated, had problems in high school, running around today, writing stories. For every girl that turns you down at the prom, you you mentioned two hundred and thirty million dollars and how how uh, it's just so crazy out here, and and why these guys don't need the money. For every time that somebody made a crazy joke and you thought it was inappropriate, now you got the axe to grind. Now you, I'm the one with the pen. I'm the one who gets to write people's lives and destinies, and I get to put it up, and and I'm gonna get validation because I'm gonna virtue signal. Well, listen, here's what's gonna happen. Steven, the same way you got a little power, same way you got a little pool, same way you got a little pen, it's the opposite side of that. We don't give a damn what you talking about. You see how that work? Moving forward, Cleveland Browns fans don't owe y'all nothing out there. Cleveland Browns band friends don't owe the national media any sort of a uh, 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 why do you want Deshaun Watson on your team? We don't owe you. Well, tell me why you would have that guy on your team. You don't even watch football. How many times you done broke down some tape? You know what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about what's on the field. We're going to talk about his interceptions and his touchdowns. And the way real media work is that we're going to talk about what's on the merit, your merit on the field. Right now, you don't work. Right now, you don't work for TMZ. We don't work for TMZ. And I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all. I'm going to keep it. There's, there's a lot of people that think just like me. Y'all got a bunch of other problems y'all need to be fixing. Go write a story about Ukraine. I'd respect you then, bro. Go write a story of, uh, 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 about how in Florida, all of a sudden, slavery was, was, was a choice. Write that story. Write a story about how come our people can't get, we can't get sensible rights for guns. We can't stop little kids from getting shot in schools. Write that story. I'm confused out here. But everybody is tough and standing on moral ground when it comes to a football player. Y'all not going to just keep jumbling people together. You listen, we gave you John ja Morant. We gave you that. Yeah, John ja Morant, you probably shouldn't have had a gun multiple times. We'll give you that. But at the end of the day, we're not about to drag these dudes through a perp walk through a street and ask if that you want to drag them three years in a row. We're not doing it. Because when you're politicians that you probably voted for taking pictures with guns and, and, and after mass shootings, I don't care nothing about that. When you decided to continue to let people do whatever they want in office and continue to run for office, I know somebody that is the is, is going to probably be a candidate. And he just got sued again by a lady for a sexual assault. He's going to be on the ticket. So don't tell me nothing about Deshaun Watson and he ain't got persecuted. He ain't got nothing. Did they, did, what, what, did, 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 did they convict him? See, but this, ain't nobody going to tell y'all like this. Get the hell up off my lawn. We don't care. We talking about football. If you ain't in here writing the X's and O's, step the hell off. That's how we moving now. Because you think somehow you're over regular people. I don't give a damn about no regular civilian. You a civilian with a pen and you think you're going to drum up enough noise that you can spark it all up again. You got your little 5.3 million, million, million views that time. But <clears throat> them 5.3, you ain't getting them no more. You know why? We not about to do that again. I'm sorry, bro. Y'all keep, you, you think of, and the national media cracked me up with this. Y'all think if y'all say it long enough and keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it and maybe we can make them feel bad about it. We don't care. We talking about, and the Cleveland Browns and Deshaun, I want Deshaun Watson so bad. I want him to say to these folks so bad. They ran him through a ringer all last year. They ran him through a ringer all last year. And I don't care if people don't like what I got to say. Kick rocks. 
I got in this game to talk about football and football we will get to. But all this other extra stuff with all these, 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 these bloggers, vloggers, I don't even know what you do for a living. See, y'all think y'all slick. See, it's a lot of y'all. That's why you wonder, you wonder why people watch people like me. Because they want the real truth. They want the real. Y'all could have been out here formulating ideas for years. You the same sucker writers that been talking about, I don't want Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. How do you let another grown man write you into the Hall of Fame? How you not, how you not let a man that don't know nothing about the work, the sweat, the equity, the game, the inner, just putting the time away from your family. And this dude with a pen is going to write your life story, but he can't even comprehend what you do for a living. Only in this game. Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds had four MVPs before we was talking about anything else. LeBron James, Le LeBron, I, he'll never be says who. Jordan six for six, is he? Or is you just drinking a Jordan Kool-Aid? Or is you just trying to be like Mike? See, because I'm going to keep it real. A lot of y'all is fanboys. A lot of y'all is fanboys. What happened, dog? Did, did somebody turn you down for a, 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 a for an interview? When you was young, did someone not sign your baseball card? Did someone not sign your phone finger? Because I'm going to keep it real. A lot of y'all cats being y'all's feelings. Y'all the one came up with locker room cancer. He's a locker room cancer. He's a guy no one wants to be around. Yeah, right. No, nobody wants to be around you. How's about that? Who told you that story? Who told you that? If he don't ever get public interviews, who told you he was a cancer? Why everybody else love him? Everybody in the locker room says great things about him. Oh, he's a cancer to you. Well, I'm just writing the stories my people want to hear about. Note to self, nobody in Cleveland wants to hear that. We want to talk about the 2023 Cleveland Browns and what they're doing on the field. Not your fluff pieces, not your pieces that you're trying to get likes on, pats on the back, and DMs, and nice cookies. At the end of the day, that man had nothing to say about none of that. He talked about who he was as a person and telling his team that. And you come out, where's the remorse? We ain't got out like I told you before, bro. And y'all need to stop answering to that. You don't have to answer to that. I hope Deshaun Watson tell him, like, listen, here's what we're going to do. Since you got Captain, uh, you you got Captain Kirk trying to save people back here, Captain Kirk. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk off this stage, and then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you know, y'all deal with him back there, because if if this don't stop, I'm deleting access from sixty percent of y'all. I'm not talking to you about nothing. And guess what? I got enough money to take the fine. I got two thirty. Remember. So here's what I'm going to do. You tell him to ask, stop asking me stupid questions from last year and we can move on and talk about football because that's supposed to be his job. He knows everything there is to know about last year and he damn well knows that. And you keep asking me these stupid ass questions about what did you learn? What if I go look at your medical notes? How are you going to sit here and tell me what he was doing and counseling that like it didn't work? If you want a virtue signal, I'm very good at virtue signaling. How's why I do this? Why are you worried? Why are you down in the man that could have a problem? He could have a mental illness. He could have something that he's working through therapy with. Why are you shaming him? Because he ain't all the way right. Hmm? See how easy that is? See how, th see how that work? So this, this game, we could play two with this. Because every, everybody, every, like they always say, it, everybody is a, a, a big dog until the, the game get flipped on them. And at the end of the day, people know what they're doing. They know what they're asking. And they're looking. So all they want is Deshaun Watson to look like I'm looking right here. Oh, look at him. He's triggered. Wow. Look, he has anger management issues. He's not fully rehabilitated. See, this is what we were saying. You're not that damn smart. 
See, the difference between me and Deshaun Watson is I don't care. I, I got all the time for all the smoke. For every video you want to pull, I got a video too, bro. At the end of the day, Cleveland Browns Nation is not bowing down. And for all y'all other sucker MCs out there, deep sea doubles, all y'all other teams out there that hope somehow that Deshaun Watson is going to be fragile, he's going to come in here and he's going to bust your ass. That's what he's going to do. I'm just letting you know. You hoping he trash. You hoping he terrible. We got smoke coming. I'm letting you know. I'm just, listen. We took, we took, we took our beatings like real men. We went one and 16 and all, one and 15, oh and 16. Hey, it's coming. It's coming. So all of that, Pittsburgh Steelers, rah, rah, listen, whatever. We'll see y'all second game of the season. We not trying to hear y'all. Get ready to be talking quarterback in the offseason, Pittsburgh. All that rah-rah, it's nine other teams that was trying to get Deshaun Watson. And all them nine teams is hoping he don't do something. It's just like when you got a girlfriend and you know she broke up with you, but you know she still look good. I hope she don't. I hope I hope she ain't still looking good, though. I, I hope. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Hey, man, G. Bush, man, your girl. I saw your girl over there, man. Shut, what, what was she doing? Yeah, man, she was over there on on, on uh, 69th Street. Why, for real? So who's she over? Who's she over there with? Who's she over? But yeah, man, she was cool too. I stopped by. I said, "What's up, man?" She was over there with this one dude. Oh, for real? <laughs> you know how your voice off for real? <laughs> oh, for real? She was okay. That's what's up, man. I wish you all the best in her future. No, no, you don't. You hate me. Just letting you know what it is. I just had to get that off. You know why I had to get that off? Because it's a lot of people that feel like that. But we just letting y'all catch, understand this. We are not listening. <laughs> there was a lot of people out here that vote for whoever they want to. I don't care. Put them on the ballot. We ain't trying to keep nobody off the ballot. Put them on there. Everybody on the ballot. We're going to see who's going to win and who's going to lose. And if whoever we end up with, that's who people voted for. You see, that's the difference between G. Bush and the rest of y'all cats. I'm 100% honest. You know, like people are like, oh, man, you listen. No, I'm not trying to put no stripes on nobody. Nobody. If you want, put him on the ballot. I don't care. At the end of the day, it's a lot of dudes trying to be like, well, Deshaun Watson, let's keep him off the, let's beat his name up. Let's just beat him, beat his name down. And then hopefully we can act like he's not good when he throws for 4,000 yards. Sorry, we already knew what your game plan was. We already, that's already cooked in. We don't care. You see how it feels? We can say that too. We don't care, bro. That's done. It's been litigated. It's been cooked. It's been it's been tried three times, two grand juries, multiple things, and you're still writing stories. But now at this point, put the casket over it because it's done. If there's no more credible people coming forward, if there's no other trials, if there's nothing else be up, up to be said, you're going to have to start earning your money by writing stories about sports actual sports things that happen on the field note to everyone listening you are on you are on watch we are watching you bro i told you when the cleveland browns get good that people in this town is actually gonna have to actually start doing a job no longer can you come out here and you're gonna cuss the browns out ninety six thousand ways and because you do it in a funny entertaining way the team is trash and we don't win games guess what you become the new celebrities we got a whole bunch of people that ain't never ran no footballs never caught no balls never even took a snap and they celebrities in this town for writing how terrible the browns is it's gone bro you're gonna have to earn your jobs now sorry or learn how to get on on youtube and get blogs because we got blogs coming every week. If you want to refute it, if you want to say something, say my name in the blog and we can get it popping. Other than that, you know, it's your boy G. Bush. And like I always say, you don't know what it, you need me to drip.
I drill down on these topics. Y'all be skimming over the top of these topics and you need somebody to drill down on this and say we ain't having it no more. Do your jobs. Stop being suckers. I'm out.